Cyanogen Mod has a big user base and it is one of the largest ROMs in the Android developer community. It has features that are not available on the stock ROMs and some features are not available on any apps on the Play Store. So in this video I'll show you how you can get some of the Cyanogen Mod features using the Cyanogen Mod applications that have been used in the original ROM. And the fun part is you don't even require root to do this. So if you have not subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and do that and tap on the notification icon so that you don't miss any uploads. And with that, let's get started. Sometime back, Cyanogen Mod released an application named CMAI. This is the official application by Cyanogen Mod. They released it on the Play Store but later they had to remove it. So not many people know about this application. So the CMAI application lets you download the Cyanogen Mod native applications on any Android device. So how this application works is you have to swipe from the left to have a list of all the applications that you can download and you can select between the different versions as well. So you can get like the Marshmallow version of the messaging application or the KitKat version of messaging application. Not all of them will work on all the devices, but 90% of these should work in all the devices. I won't be able to show you all of these applications in one video, but I will try to show some of the interesting ones. The first one would be the calculator. I use the calculator a lot and it can be used to do very complex problems and, and you can also use it to solve graphs. Inside the calculator app, you can also solve matrices. You also have an option for floating calculator where you can open the calculator in a pop-up window and you can do all your calculations there. You also have the Apollo music player which is quite simple but it does the job very well. And you can also download the different themes and choose between the color schemes. And you might have noticed that the launcher I'm using is also the Cyanogen Mod launcher. There are a lot of settings in the Cyanogen Mod launcher and you can change between all of them. The stock launcher is quite basic and it doesn't have all of the options. But the Cyanogen Mod one is light and it also has a lot of options. So if the launcher from the application doesn't work and force closes for you, I will have a link to an external APK as well. There is one more application that is not included in the app and that is the focal camera. The focal camera is quite simplistic but at the same time it also has a lot of options. You can swipe from the left to see all the options that it has. And you can also see that the interface is also quite intuitive. One feature that I like in this application a lot is that you can set the exposure at a different point and focus at a different point. You don't find this in many camera applications. The file manager is also quite solid and has a lot of options. So I leave all the other applications so that you can try them yourself. So if you want to see more stuff like this, keep subscribed to my channel. And if you have not subscribed yet, you can go ahead and press the subscribe button and also click on the bell notification icon. And I will see you in the next one.